For today's challenge, in the time that it takes me to microwave this pork penang curry from 7-Eleven, you can learn everything you need to know about present perfect tense. Wow. Hi everyone. So the first thing I want to talk about is the name present perfect tense because it is a little bit confusing for some people because we normally use the present perfect tense to talk about things that happened or started in the past. <gasps> Actually, the name tells us more about how we make the present perfect tense. Oh. We need to start with a subject, normally a person or an object, a thing, and then we follow that with have or has. That's the present part of it. And then we follow that with the past participle, verb three. And actually perfect comes from an old Latin word that means finished or completed. And that's why we use present perfect tense for things that started or happened in the past. <sighs> Let me give you an example. I have taken a shower already. We often use the word already to emphasize that we have done something. You have taken a shower already. We have taken a shower already. They have taken a shower already. But remember, he has taken a shower already. She has taken a shower already. It has taken a shower already. But how about if we want to make a negative statement, a no statement? <gasps> Again, it's quite straightforward because we just need to put the word not after have or has. I, I have not taken a shower. He has not taken a shower. But actually, when we're speaking, we want to use the short form, I haven't, or she hasn't. And how about making a question using present perfect tense? You really just need to put have or has at the beginning of the question. Have I taken a shower? Has he taken a shower? Let me give you my favorite five times that we need to use present perfect tense. Number one, I have forgotten my keys. We use present perfect tense when we're talking about something that happened in the past but has an impact on right now, on this moment. Yeah. I have forgotten my keys, that means now I can't get into my room. Number two. I have been to the Maldives. Wow. We also use the present perfect tense to talk about something that happened in the past, but when it happened is not important to the point that we're trying to make. Number three. Something that happened in the past, but the time period that we're talking about hasn't finished yet. Let me give you an example. I have drunk two cups of coffee already today. Oh. Well, actually, if it's a stressful day today, I'm probably going to drink some more during the remainder of the day, which hasn't finished yet. Number four, we use present perfect tense to describe something that happened recently. For example, I have just spoken to my mother on the telephone. <sighs> and finally for today, number five, we do use present perfect tense to describe unfinished actions. For example, I have lived in Bangkok for 10 years. I have taught English since 2010. I haven't finished living in Bangkok and I haven't finished teaching yet. Dinner's ready! So if you'd excuse me, I haven't eaten lunch yet 
and I'd like to eat it right now. So I do hope you learned something in today's lesson. If you have, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all again very soon. But for today, everyone, bye bye.